my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright, so guys, let's go straight into the tutorial and then as usual, control N to bring about our new document. Alright, so I'm going to call it school banner and then for the width, we are going to use 3, 2, 1, 8 pixels and then the height, you're going to use 1500 pixels. We're going to leave the resolution at 72, RGB color 8 bit and then click on OK or create. Oh, so let's start with our rulers as well if your rulers are not showing just click on ctrl r uh, to show like this and then you just drag them okay so now that we are done with this let's start with our um, background and so we're going to start with a solid color let's go to our adjustment layer over here click on it and go for solid color let's use this particular color code one e zero two two zero then click on ok also let's go and pick our image let's pick this particular one and drag it in there and then let's resize it oh right, so something like this is quite good now go to your filter and then go to blur and then go to gaussian blur now i want us to set a value over here to one one five point eight and then click on ok now we want there to be a little light in the background and so let's go over here let's choose color dodge let's see nice like i said the light in the background but it's too bright let's set it to 50 percent awesome so now this shows a little light in the background this is what we are looking for let's go and, and then create a new layer and then let's give it some brushwork and so let's add more brush to it make sure caps log is also off increase the size a little bit and then let's see uh, let's pick this particular color code f zero b d one one now this yellow we are going to use increase the size a little bit and then just click somewhere here awesome now let's go and let's set the blending mode over here to color dodge as well gives it a very nice feel let's set it over here to 50 percent so you can see it's in there somewhere now click over here as well a new layer and then click over here we are going to set this to divide to give it a blue color awesome duplicate it and then move it click on your move tool and then move it somewhere here also want to right click it and then flip it vertical and drag it somewhere here okay so this is what we are going to be using now we are going to add more elements to the background but then for now this is what we are going to do let's put it in the folder and let's call it bg awesome let's start with our text type over here and then pick the details now I'm going to leave the details also in the description for you together with the images and everything that you need to do this particular flyer and so go to your character let's go and look for prime time it's what we are going to be using prime time let's add it to regular over here but then for the font size we are going to use this particular size 181 and then we are also going to let the lead in 15 7.13 that's going to be the size of the leading now you can see it's now getting more beautiful and then for the color let's use this particular color code f a d 3 it's still yellow anyway 4c but then it's a lighter version and then let's drag it somewhere here okay somewhere here let's pick our logo let's also resize the logo and drag it in there double click the logo go to color overlay go to this color and then pick this yellow color over here awesome click on ok let's drag it here 
see what are the oldest team okay so the oldest team now let's type here and then let's pick academic excellence and blah 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 <laughs> but we are not going to use prime time this time we are going to use railway for the railway we are going to use light we want it to be a little bit contrast we don't want them to all have bold and bold no it will make it nice and so let's set the size also to one two three make it a little bit smaller and then the tracking let's set the tracking to one one eight awesome now they are all yellow let's change the color a little bit nice 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 and then i think let's take this one off let's take this one off as well awesome in fact let's go back to this one let's take the boot here off and let's take this one off as well bring this drag it here to establish the fact that we don't want to cross this line even though we could cross it i mean just to establish the fact that this way we want to end let's pick our rectangular tool and let's draw a very sharp line over here let's change the color to color white uh, control h to hide everything and let's see how it looks like let's duplicate it pull shift it and drag it down okay so you're going to deal with the spacing later on but for now this is what you're going to stick with and then let's pick our text tool and pick the rest of the details <laughs> let's type here and then let's bring it let's bring our rulers bring it a little bit closer there now for this let's use um the font held vertica this is it let's set it to regular let's use 72 we don't want the size to be the same so 72 awesome 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 let's give it bold here and let's give it um this one here as well no and let's give it this awesome click over here you know what let's set the tracking to zero over here as well let's set the tracking to zero and then the crutch let's set the tracking also to zero and let's drag it up now let's also give it a rectangle over here just to make it different from the rest okay click over here click over here let's pick this particular color f c zero two five b click on ok let's drag it beneath the crutch in fact let's pull it towards that side all right okay so we're going to work on the details later on and then let's pick this as well and type over here let's pull it up go to our character and then let's use hell vertical as well for it we are using regular also but for the font size let's use 85 for the tracking this time let's use 20 and then let's give it bold here let's also make it quite um, all caps as well and then let's make it yellow let's pick this yellow here and then let's send it over here we are going to work on the details later on pick this and also draw uh, something like this now make sure the fill is off go to the stroke and then let's click over here and choose color white click on ok now for the size of the stroke let's use 6.99 and enter and we are done we are done with it let's put everything in a folder and let's call it 
text let's hide it all right so now let's work on the details in fact let's set everything up like that awesome let's zoom in now the distance between the space here and the space here are not quite the same so let's pick i presume this is it let's pick extend it up a little bit and then let's set um, academic where's academic there is it let's turn academic up to a little bit okay let's set this one up a little bit okay now the spacing here should be the stack spacing here so let's set this one and then this one down a little bit okay the telephone number should be in between so let's let's boost it up a little bit let's put it in between them so something like this is also quite great let's make sure it falls in the middle of the entire mix now the crutch itself i think the crutch should go up one notch and then this so we started from here right let's also end it over here somewhere like this is quite good so click over here hold shift and click over here Control t and then let's move it in slightly i think this is quite good let's give this one a mask and then let's give it a mask let's choose our brush make sure it is a soft brown brush the hardness is zero the opacity is 100 the flow is 100 and then here is color black you click on your mask make sure your caps lock is off reduce the size of the brush and then let's clean it let's just clean it so something like this also is great now we need to work on the images over here so let's pick our ellipse tool and then let's just draw let's drag it up let's make sure it touches both sides okay now that it touches both sides let's pull it up like that let's create a duplicate of it okay so now the one on top of it let's hit it and then resize it to somewhere this size the one beneath let's give it this particular color fc 025b awesome all right so let's go and pick our image which is this drag it in there and then resize it create clipping mask let's put everything in the folder we'll work on the details later on pick our polygonal lasso tool and then let's come and click somewhere here okay now let's give it a mask double click it and then invert okay so now this is what we are working with let's open it and then this image let's resize it all over again nice 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 now let's duplicate click on your move to click over here hold shift click this and click this and then move it here awesome now over here i want you to double click it and then just change the color so you can see it well now let's go and pick this little kid drag the kid there like that and clip it to it okay so now we can close it now i want us to create a new group 
and then let's create um, a rec and let's create a circle. Why do I keep saying rectangle? A circle like this. Okay, click on your move to and then just put it somewhere here. Now close it. I want you to click on your mask, hold out, and then drag it up. Do it. Double click it and then click on invert. Now click oh, copy it and then click on the ellipse to click on your move to and then move it to get a comfortable position. Duplicate it, Ctrl J, Ctrl T to transform it. Just resize it a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, now let's go and bring our image. This cute girl learning. And then let's resize it. And put it in there somewhere. We're going to resize it more. But let's clip it to it first to see what we are working with. And then let's drag it there. Okay, now it fits perfectly in there. Click on your ellipse tool and create another circle. Okay. Click on your move tool and move the circle somewhere here. Nice. Now I want you to double click it and let's choose this particular color code. Zero zero seven EFF click on OK now let's duplicate it again and resize it let's go and pick our kid playing a guitar and let's drag it there resize it pull it in there somewhere let's resize it let's clip it to it all right now let's close it let's call this down let's call this up and one more thing let's deal with the background let's let's add more meat to the background let's go and pick this and drag it in there let's resize it drag it in there somewhere like this now double click it and let's pick this particular color code go to color overlay and let's use ff00e2 awesome 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 Let's drag it somewhere here. That's nice. Duplicate it. Ctrl T and then flip horizontal, flip vertical. Let's do it something like this. Okay. So let's click on the color overlay and then let's choose this particular color code zero zero seven e f f click on okay and then okay all right so ladies and gentlemen if you love this video hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel also like this video and then comment down below i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace